Speaking of which, I know I don't do this anymore, but it's one that really deserves it. This one is really good and juicy. It's none, in, it's none other than Amazing Spider-Man, the first one. It hit 10 years. Well, now it's basically 10 years with five months. <clears throat> six months something like that <laughs> oh even so we got freaking amazing spider-man oh man it's just kind of crazy how it was like spider-man 4 won't happen they're gonna redo it they're gonna reboot it what the fuck and then i got drawn into it because they were promising lots and lots of good movie lots of good music and of course you know they had a good decent spider-man i mean the costume is kind of like whatever i'll get used to it but the thing is like yeah the, at least the music wasn't set in stone but i like the other musics like for instance dun 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 it's like dude are they seriously trying to go for ultimate spider-man up in this shit oh man that'll be awesome but for some reason, you named it Amazing Spider-Man. The fuck? <laughs> yeah, it's like, it's very complicated. Some old man jerk ass over there is like, yeah, it's based on the ultimate universe, but it's like, but you called it Amazing Spider-Man. The fuck, dude? The fuck? <laughs> it's like, yes, we gotta be edgy and dark. Yeah, like the Ultimate Spider-Man. So why the fuck didn't you call it Ultimate Damn Ass Spider-Man, dumbass? It's like, what? Did Disney actually claim dibs on that shit? It's like, yeah, um, Disney claimed dibs. They said Ultimate Spider-Man's ours. Oh, then we'll call it Amazing Spider-Man. Like, no, 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 Disney, 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 go fuck yourself. Disney, seriously, go fuck yourselves, okay? You both get to use the damn ass name because it was so fucking complicated and what the fuck. And don't forget about... It's like the glitch mob. That was awesome as fuck. Yeah, then we get to the movie. It's like, yeah, we're just hyping ourselves to get to the movie and hopefully it's good. And well, besides the whole thing of where the reason why I cast him as Spider Man is because how he eats the hamburger. How he eats the hamburger showed me that he is Peter Parker. I was like, what the fuck was this? Shit? What the fuck? Man, get out of here, you dumbass director, dumbass. What the fuck? <laughs> It's like, yeah, like, seriously, dude, that that was one that you most likely shouldn't have said at all. We can kind of see why the hell they cast your director, because it looks like you could be a fucking tool. You're a freaking damn Pinocchio, and they're just freaking playing with your ass. So, <laughs> yeah, they're just puppeting your freaking damn butt. They're puppeting you. Besides hearing about there was reshoots and the fact that there was one that the director wanted to do, but they said, no, go fuck yourself. We're going to pick the lizard. And he wanted to build up to the lizard. He was going to pick Proto Goblin first, then the lizard. But they said, no, go fuck yourselves. Sam Raimi basically made people craving for the lizard. So we're going to give him the lizard and we're going to use the damn designs that he actually was going to choose for the lizard. The fuck? the fuck <laughs> it's like yeah and it's like you better at least give the freaking artist who was drawing that freaking lizard the credit you bastards what the fuck <laughs> but anyways anyways with your damn crap it came out <clears throat> i didn't feel anything the music was made by james horner I continue to learn about James Horner every day. He made Titanic. He made he he did music for Titanic. Oh good lord. He did music for G Mungi. Awesome. Badass. He did music for freaking the Grinch who stole Christmas. It's like, and I'm pretty sure he did so many more, but the ones that are notable that I can tell because I watched the movie oh, except for Titanic. Fuck Titanic. But I'm just saying. It's noted by me that the movies existed, and I watched two of them, and I noticed that he can actually make music. He can actually have music that actually blends in with the character. 
it turns out that he can't do no superhero movie. The only thing you can do is a close to a cop movie. That's it. He just basically did a cop movie, an 80s cop movie. He couldn't do a superhero freaking damn movie soundtrack. They ca they cast it the wrong person to do their music. Hans Zimmer, yeah, it would have worked if they would have hired him in the first damn place. So instead of being like, yeah, this is weird, weird feel, but it's more heroic. Yeah, it's too bad Hans Zimmer couldn't even ca get Spider-Man's freaking anything either. Because it sounded like it's more like a Superman theme than a Spider-Man theme. So it's like, sorry for future talk, but it has to be said. So it's like James Horner is good, but damn, apparently he can't do superhero movies. He can't do superhero soundtracks. That's just how it goes. Sorry to be a jerk. I mean, you're dealing with Danny Elfman, dude. <laughs> Danny Elfman set the stage and you fucked up. <laughs> like, that's the truth. And plus, you know, the freaking marketing people, which, oh crap, the debacle that the marketing people did. They freaking leaked the end's credit scene. The fuck? The fuck? The fuck? And it's like, this is not the last time that they suck. They suck so badly. It's like, it seems that the ones for Spider-Man 3 got hired still to do it again. And this time, they truly fucked up. And it's like, yeah, these are the same people that allowed like some leaks from Spider-Man 3 to happen. I'm shocked that they actually weren't fired. They kept them on. It's like, duh, I'm, I'm pretty sure it's the same damn ass people. It's like, what the fuck? What the fuck? So, and of course, like I said, they promised some good ass music and then we got some, well, because, well, the director actually is, um, do, 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 he actually is a indie filmmaker. So that means that we got indie film fucking music in this shit, too. And I'm like, what the fuck? It's like, hey, marketing people, marketing people, you should have told the dumbass to not put any freaking indie music in this shit. Please, what the fuck? It's like, yeah, and also the fact that they couldn't tread the waters and make Uncle Ben say with great power comes great responsibility. It's like, yeah, he never said that shit at all in any of his freaking scenes. He didn't do it at all. The only time he ever even got to that point is sadly Spider-Man No Way Home. What the fuck? <laughs> it's like, yeah, the first time ever he actually urged, actually urged those words, kind of was a movie that wasn't even in his franchise but was a crossover you know you fucked up that big time what the fuck and well you know if they were supposed to go with ultimate uncle ben was a hippie in the ultimates comics i can tell you that the person that actually is the father of was he yeah, I'm pretty sure, yeah, he's the father of Johnny, um, Charlie Sheen, I think. I think he is. So it's like, you cast this guy and he's a hard ass, the fuck? Yeah, and then of course, you know, hunting for the person who killed Uncle Ben now. And, well, of course, it goes into the freaking video game. <laughs> but, the, I mean, the second, the sequel video game, not the first video game. It's like, yeah, the first video game was a sequel to the this movie. Anyways, no Mary Jane. They picked Gwen Stacy. That's perfectly fine. It's still funny where they were trying to say that, oh, he, all the movies, he's going to be in high school. He graduated high school in the freaking sequel. The fup, guys? The fup? <laughs> the fup? man the fuck okay i was trying to stay in the first movie i really am i'm trying i'm trying hard as for the untold story of spider-man of course as you can figure old man and many other people who actually have like rank over the director kind of fuck shit up too it's like why y'all guys freaky did because like i said the director's a damn puppet so they puppeted around you know they got a puppet so that's what they fucking did and it's like 
especially when you get a freaking review that said thank you for P having a peter parker spider-man that isn't a freaking nerd anymore when you hear that shit that makes you basically be like oh fuck because spider-man's supposed to be a nerd he's supposed to be a damn geek if you actually have a freaky damn reviewer says thank you for not making him a geek no more you know you done up <laughs> like what the fuck like seriously lizard was okay like the lizard story and stuff that was okay the untold story that actually got fucked over in the sequel that was kind of okay too um let's see the deleted scene that we get to later see of the lizard licking a girl what the fuck gross what the fuck <laughs> um I guess the like the ending kind of sucked too. The whole thing that promises that you can't keep are the best promises. It's like that's not a good freaking damn, you know, lesson to learn. There were some fun moments, I suppose. I guess there were some fun moments. Anything? Oh yeah. What about the fact of where he bought tinsel from Oscorp and they never tracked it that. It's like, why are you buying lots of damn tinsel and what you're using it for? Spider-Man uses the same exact crap that we use. Two and two, baby. Two and two. What the fuck? Two and two. <laughs> it's like, yeah. Um, anything else? I forgot what else. I think that's it. I think that's basically it. <laughs> really. But yeah, it's like, basically the movie, I don't feel a single thing watching it. And that's not good. I should be feeling something, but I'm not. You know, it's kind of messed up. It's like, I'm going to go X-rate it right quick. If I'm having sex with a girl and I'm just there, you know, just there, just taking it, letting her ride me, and I don't feel a single thing, it's like, yeah, it's like mechanical work. When you're having sex or kissing someone or having a date with someone, you're supposed to feel something, you know? You're supposed to feel something at least. This, I didn't feel crap at all. And I'm like, yeah, this is why this is like the movie I don't even watch. I think I only watched this four times ever, four times. Given technically Spider-Man Homecoming, I watched it like twice, but it's not because of this, because the reason why I can't watch that one is because Ned Leeds is a jerk ass. So if Ned Leeds is a jerk ass in this, that one, and not to mention, it's kind of like, you know what Spider-Man is capable of. Like, look at the Spectacular Spider-Man, look at this one. Like, Spectacular Spider-Man, look at this one. Why is Spectacular Spider-Man doing so much more and so cooler things than this other Spider-Man right here? And I think Spectacular Spider-Man only did it within five months. Yeah, he had to get understanding of being Spider-Man for five months. This freaking Tom Holland Spider-Man, how long has it? I think it's been like nine plus months. And it's like, the fuck? Seriously, bastard? <laughs> uh, anyways, yeah, back to Amazing Spider-Man. Again, I felt nothing for him. You can even hear my commentary. <laughs> but it's like, seriously, I felt nothing for this guy. And for it to be 10 years and nothing actually shows, like no extra special one, I'm glad because I wouldn't really... I wouldn't necessarily buy it unless they do something that actually makes me feel like I should buy it. Like, for instance, remember when I said that they have to do some reshoots? Would be cool if they do a director's cut where instead allow the damn pre-reshoots to be in the movie. Instead of the producers, the jerk asses with more rank who's puppeting him, get their own fucking way. Yes, I want to see what he had to say. His cut. Yeah, if you give me the director's cut where the producers can go fuck themselves and we see what story he really wanted to show us, I might buy it. But other than that, I'm sorry to tell you, but damn, this sucks. Damn, this fucking sucks. Hold it, son. Wouldn't you rather have an exciting action figure? Ah, but only Batman fits in my Batmobile. Hurrah! <laughs>